Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today I have a quick haul video. So this will be my purchases from January. So I'm going to be starting with my Amazon purchases first. So most importantly, this is my favourite one. I have 90 Ferrero Rochers. I'm so excited to get these open. So I have a few projects coming up for Valentine's Day using some Ferrero Rochers. And I'm guessing I'm going to be needing about half of these um, for one of my projects. So I have a nice big big bumper box coming for you. So these are from Amazon and if you like Ferrero Rocher they have a 50% off deal at the moment. So these only cost me £16.12 which is half half the price. So there'll be a link down below to get these. I'd get, I don't know how long they're going to be on the special deal so I would pause this video and get yours ASAP and then come back. So let's move these aside. Okay so we have another slightly boring delivery here these are my brown paper bags so I am um, I shared a video last week or the week before of the ultimate Christmas album which is here which I'm slowly decorating so my album was made with these um, brown paper bags so I'm slowly filling up the pages and adding my cards in so all I have to do now really is put my stories and my photos in so there'll be a link down below for this album there moving along now I bought this because I have my Nouveau pens here and they're pretty hard to find when I have to keep searching through them just to find the right colour and the number so um, I have actually kept these because I like these colour charts here but I have a colour chart there as well so I needed rack to go. I needed a rack for them to go in. So this is by Spectrum Noir, and it holds 72 markers. So I'll just grab that. So in that box, you get six trays. So let's test some of the pens in. So I'm going to have these in colour order. This is just a random selection so those fit perfectly so when they're on the shelf I can literally see what I need to go and then grab it so these come apart so you can have them in any orientation and they stack two ways as well so what I've done here is I've stacked it back a little bit so you can have them slanted so they it carries on like this or you can have them in a sort of a straight line like that so there's loads of options there. Right, so we also have, I'm just looking at all my stuff here, what to do next. Right, so I also have some Paper Mania Tinsel Red and Tinsel Gold. So I used the Tinsel Red already on a piece of chipboard. So I just used Versamark, this one here. I used Versamark on there first and then I sprinkled this on and then I heat embossed it and I did that twice and this chipboard piece is from Do Crafts. you may be able to still find it it's just by Do Crafts. Um, I don't think it has an actual name to it it says tree, just there, tree so you may be able to find that Okay, I haven't tried the gold yet but I will be doing that I like anything that glitters and it doesn't shed either so that's perfect for those glitter lovers that don't like the shed okay so I think that's all of my Amazon purchases oh I think I do have one more here we go I have the rocker blocks my best friend actually gave this to me for my birthday so um, I've been wanting this pack for absolute ages and I have found it on Amazon and you can also get it from the crafters companion website so these are called rock rocker blocks and they're curvy acrylic blocks see there's a curve there so you'd put a large area stamp on there these are especially good for the large area stamps so it will take photopolymer and the rubber ones as long as they have the, um, the mount on the back um, and if you have uh, just the red rubber there's a spray that you can get but if you already use the red rubber then you'll know what to do so basically it, you rock it on like that when you stamp your image and it makes it so easy for you to do that instead of um, when you have large areas here sometimes this doesn't press down properly so it's 
perfect for that so I can't wait to test those out right so moving on I also did a craft stash order back early in January so I have some scarlet paper here it's lovely bright red and it's from creative expressions and this is going to be for mostly my um, Valentine's projects which will, will be coming very soon so you get 25 sheets in there and I think it was 4 99 so it's good value and I've tried their stuff before and it scores lovely so I've also treated myself to some new acrylic blocks as well. These, these are by Paper Mania, Do Crafts, and they have a grid. They're not shaped like the Stampin' Up! ones. They do have the straight edges, so they're not rounded around the edges, but I particularly like this one because it's small, and because I like to use my double-sided tape, I, I tend to use my ruler to cut them instead of grabbing my scissors but using a small acrylic block just like so I can just do that and get the perfect cut every time just by having this handy and I'm not going to be fishing around looking for my ruler so I've actually stuck that down okay I'll clean that up later so I'm really looking forward to using those as well and I've treated myself to some new embossing powders. So these are by Nuvo. I haven't tried them out yet, but I'm, I'm expecting good results. So this one's a silver. Classic silver. So I guess it's classic gold. Yep, classic gold. And this one is glacier white. So um, you, from some of my other videos, you may have, have noticed... That I, I tend to put my embossing powders in these boxes which I'll be phasing those out because I absolutely love these bottles look they they match the whole range so I have this in the um, crystal drops that's white and I also have the glitters as well so grab my tin here everything matches so this will look really good on display And so I'll have to buy myself some of those paper coffee filters just to make it easier for me to do my heat embossing. So you'll be seeing that coming up soon in one of my videos. Now I have three new Distress Oxide inks. I do have the set from the first release, but I didn't buy all of the colours from the second release. I just wanted the colours that, that were kind of missing from um, the first release, just so that I can get in some nice rainbow effects. So this one is very, very close to, I think it's Broken China. But this one's Peacock Feathers. I love anything in this shade, so I had to get that one. Then we have Candy Dapple and picked raspberry so i do have a planner coming up very very soon as well this month so i'll be using a lot of rainbow colors for the front cover for that one sticking with the tim holtz i've treated myself to this ruler i've i've wanted this ruler for a very long time so it's a 12 inch ruler and it has a zero here in the center just to make it easier for when you have to mark things either side from the center and it has a curved edge that goes down this way and on this side here you have a, a small metal bar that runs along there so when you're trimming it with your um your craft knife it's not going to um, cut into the ruler which I have done before so there's no need there to get yourself a metal ruler for cutting I'm excited to be using that one actually and then we have this by Hunky, Hunky Dory Hunky Dory Stamps so this is called I Love London and you've got the um, Tower Bridge the London Eye a London Bus the Telephone Box and Big Ben I've got some sentiments here and some tourists here and lift that up there we've got Soldier so these look really good 
even watercolored or used uh, using alcohol pens so the only thing missing here which I would have put in if I designed this is a London cab that's the only thing that's missing so I'm going to be on my hunt for a small London cab stamp just to complete this set so I have some great ideas on what to do with this and we do go to London probably once or twice a year so this would be perfect for scrapbook pages too So I'm adding to my die collection, it's slowly getting bigger. I've treated myself to some stitched and pierced nesting dies, so I have the rectangles here. These are by Creative Dies and they're exclusive to Craft Stash and they're very inexpensive. So I think some of these are $8.99 and a little bit, little bit more than that, but not very expensive at all. So then we have the circles here and we have the squares. So this will be coming in handy for all of my card making and even my scrapbooking as well. So moving on, some more dies here. I actually bought this for a magazine commission that I'm working on at the moment. So um, I absolutely adore leaves and anything to do with leaves. So I am building up my collection. So this is a Sizzex and it's absolutely tiny. So let's cut that open. Let's see how big it really is. I always cut up the side and then what I need tends to slip out really easily and I can put it away easily as well. So here we are, it's tiny, so this will be perfect for tucking outside of sentiments and just put your sentiment on the top. And that will also look good coming out from behind photographs as well. So there we go, it packs away nice and tidy. And here we have a rose making die, so I have actually opened this one already just to have a look. So you cut it out and then you roll it up from the outside edge and you keep rolling it round and then you've got this section here is, is where you kind of put a bit of um, wet glue or uh, glue gun stuff and you just uh, stick it down in the centre and then you have these roses here. So depending on how tight or how loose or depending on the size you get. So I'm looking forward to using that as well. And I don't actually have a very large embossing folder collection, so I'm trying to build that one up as well. So these are by Ultimate Crafts. So these are also from Craft Stash. Oops. Something tried to sneak in there. Right, so these are 5 by 7 embossing folders, and I absolutely love them. Obviously, that's why I bought them. So here we have a nice paisley design. This one's called Bohemian Damask lovely swells I can't wait to try these out and then we have Bohemian Bazaar so you can just imagine this being like on henna designs and things so I'm looking forward to using those okay so that's my craft stash haul so moving on December was such a busy time of the month that I am a little bit behind on sharing on the magazines that I've been appearing in so I did make an appearance in making cards and the editor saw one of my cards that I made from a previous magazine from their Christmas special. Um, I do have a tutorial for this on my channel and uh, she really liked it so she wanted to do a small section here, here we go, on how to make the card and they also sent me a lovely little gift pack of um, craft items and goodies as well so thank you very much Sally for sending me those so um, I have a small instructions here on how to make it and then on the other page it tells you what you get in the next month and you get this lovely alphabet set so this is one of my favourite fonts because I had it at my wedding as well for my stationery so I went and bought that I have that here here we go so making cards you can buy the current edition online and you can also backdate that as well so the one I was in for the Christmas one the December oh they don't have numbers they have months so that was December so here's the stamp set here hold it up so you can see it you can order that online so don't worry about trying to look for things the links will all be down below so, so what you need to do is you need to trim these apart so as long as you cut through the centre and not through any of the image your image will be fine and you've got some more sentiments here and you also get a lovely paper pack as well so got the succulents here 
it's on good quality white paper as well it's not thin and shiny lovely patterns there I just love the colors together and then we have some cutouts and then we have some marbles marble patterns and some geometric and marble patterns there and then we have some more cut aparts here that you can put your sentiments on so that's a great magazine and it's only 5 99 and that's the January issue and inside the magazine there's loads of ideas on what you can do with the free the free stuff as well so that's making cards magazine now currently I'm also in Simply Cards and Papercraft, that's this month, and that's issue 172, and I'm really lucky because the editor actually chose one of my projects as her favourite. So it's a little Valentine's box there, with some Frere Rocher, it's got to have the Frere Rocher in. So I'm really pleased with that, and you also get some cutouts as well lovely spring pastel colours there and you also get some templates as well for some pillow boxes and uh, pop-up box templates and you also get this lovely stamp set here so this pretty much covers a lot of things so this stamp set will see you through quite a few things like birthdays best friends um, Hello handsome, congratulations, get well soon, retirement even, thank you, and just some lovely swells here, and some flowers, I think it's, that's, I think that's a dahlia, I think it's a dahlia, so you can have some really good fun there colouring those in, that would look really good with some alcohol pens as well, and maybe even some watercolour <coughs> water colour effects. So yes, I am in this magazine as well. Um, I'm in here twice actually. I did a, an interview with Craft Stash, so I have my interview here. That's just an interview to see how I'm getting on since I won the Paper Craft Magazine's Designer of the Year. And just a sneak peek, I'm also here as well with some um, lovely Valentine's designs using the Kaiser Craft Hanami collection. So this magazine is definitely going to be one of my keepers. Okay, so that's the end to, today, to today's haul. All the links will be down below. Um, there'll also be a blog post for this as well, and there'll be photographs with the products as well, just to, in case you're more, more of a visual person when you, you're browsing stuff. So the link for that will be down below as well, and it'll all be in one place. So thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.